Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and I have a package that has just arrived here that I am going to unbox with you guys. I actually have a package from Dino Mike Mac, who at this point I would say is almost infamous around here because he's consistently supplying me with new information and images for Mattel stuff. But he's actually been in collaboration with uh, Marco Makes and quite a few others and also, you know, doing his own thing here with a lot of really cool stuff lately. And I have the pleasure of owning some of it here and bringing it in and taking a look at it for the first time with you guys and showing it off to you guys. And all of this stuff is stuff that you can actually purchase from Dino Mike Mac himself, printed copies of this stuff, which is awesome. So... Let's go ahead, start bringing some of this stuff in. So we've got what, you know, could potentially be a poster of some kind here. And then we've also got all of this fun stuff. So let's go ahead and see what we have. First of all, we've got ourselves the Jurassic World Dominion logo right here, front and center on this book. And you can also see Mattel, a toy line 65 million years in the making. Now, if this is what I think it is... Yes, it is. So basically what this is, is a comprehensive list with images of the Mattel Jurassic World line up until this point. So you can see immediately over here, you have some information about the actual toy line itself. And then once you actually go in here, you can see we've got some beautiful, really high quality images of the different dinosaurs. Now straight away, you can see these are the attack packs from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So we have the very first entry from the Mattel Jurassic World line. And then as we continue to move along, you can see that again, it shows us all the different figures that Mattel has released, which honestly, I feel like we sometimes take for granted just how much Mattel has given us and just how many species they've given us. They have given us way more than any other company ever has for our Jurassic World collections like it is insane how much Mattel has given us. And I also like this just because it's kind of like a trip down memory lane. Wow, I'm having a hard time getting to the next page. But it's pretty much like a trip down memory lane to go back and look at all of the incredible figures that we have had the pleasure of picking up and purchasing over the years, some of which were pretty hard to find, like these two. I actually never got either of those. Mostly didn't really care because the figures themselves were the same as the, you know, standard releases, the attack pack releases, but I never got this stuff, which I kind of wanted. This I did get. I never did review it on the channel, but that's because I never actually opened it at all. The Baryonyx Lava Surge playset was super hard to find. I only ever saw it for sale one time. I think it was on Walmart, and I grabbed it immediately. Never saw it again after that. And then you continue on. This was another one that was really hard to get. The Battle Damage Indoraptor. That one is also nearly impossible to find. Even when it was released, it never came here to the United States, unfortunately, which was a bit of a bummer for many people here. I had to import it from Mexico. But again, all kinds of stuff as you move through. I don't know that we should actually go through every single image, but it is still really cool. It's definitely something I'm certainly going to go through and look at but you can continue to see again so much awesomeness in the Mattel line like the Destructosaurs line I love that line it was so cool but so short-lived there was so much potential to that line and so many more cool figures that I think they were going to be making like that Dimetrodon I just really really still to this day am quite bitter about not getting released and I have all of those Destructosaur sets in fact I have everything I think as far as the Mattel main line goes that they have released well, actually, I guess that's technically not true because I never did buy the vehicles, the Gyrosphere Blast Vehicle or the Off-Road Rescue Rig. I never purchased either of those, unfortunately. And actually over here we have that Dimetrodon I was just talking about, but you can see a few of the different canceled sets that never got released from Mattel, like the Destructosaurs Lab Attack play set, and then of course that beautiful Dimetrodon. There was also a Destructosaur Stiggy Moloch, and then you could see the two legacy figures that never saw the light of day, which... Very unfortunate that neither of those got released. I would love to like find the prototypes somewhere someday of those. But then you move here, continuing on to the Dino Rivals line, and you can see again all the different amazing figures that we received. And this book doesn't just stop there. You know, we continue through. I'm not going to go ahead and go through every single page with you guys, but you can see as you move through, there's like the only set that I never really got. The only one that I consider as like a Mattel 
dinosaur set that I really needed that was released that I never got was that Alan Grant and Velociraptor set. Such a bummer. I actually bought it from a friend of mine and I'm not sure whatever happened to it. It never actually ended up arriving, so I still never got that set, unfortunately. But, uh... Again, there's all kinds of cool stuff as you move through. You can see all the different amazing figures that have released from Mattel. It is absolutely loaded with awesomeness when it comes to the Jurassic World line. And we continue on all the way to modern releases. But you can see again, even up till the Jurassic World Dominion line, we've got everything covered in this incredible book and again this is something that you can purchase from dino mike mac and right there you can see follow dino mike mac on instagram and uh you can actually see some of his incredible repaints he does a lot of really really nice repaints on his instagram he's consistently posting those but that is phenomenal if you are a collector for the jurassic world line this book is definitely one that's handy to have if you're trying to complete your collection but it's also just amazing in general to have again for a trip down memory lane and as an extra collectible to add to your collection and then we've got the dinosaur style guide this is something that i've been promoting recently in some news videos and stuff and this is a huge collaboration between many different people and even myself i took part in helping with uh supplying some stuff for marco when he was uh in contact with me and working on this but basically what it is is a book that would help anybody that is a customizer or just in general interested in the jurassic dinosaurs it helps to show you all kinds of information on the dinosaurs so straight away you can see all of the dinosaurs from jurassic park the very first film you can see them all here and how they size up next to each other but if you go back here a little bit it's like very very thorough to give you different angles and images of the dinosaurs showing off the color scheme pretty much every aspect in fact it even shows you the colors that you would find on the dinosaur and pretty much how you would want to paint it which is so crazy and again it continues through you get every species of dinosaur that was shown off in Jurassic Park with really nice really high quality images of everything even right down to the eyes of the dinosaurs like if you are someone that customizes your dinosaur figures like I do this is the ultimate book this is exactly the book that you would need if you need reference material to figure out again what the dinosaur would look like and this time we're into the lost world you can see we've got the stegosaurus we even have the young stegosaurus the infant there and it continues through we've got again the female rex from the lost world jurassic park which this was definitely something that would have been insanely handy when I was painting the Arctic Figures version not long ago. And we can see the Triceratops from The Lost World obviously looks a bit different from the Jurassic Park one. And there's little things like that that you don't even realize. Like you would have no idea if it weren't for the incredible work that was put into books like this to help show us that. And here you can see all sorts of different species and everything that have appeared in the Jurassic films and if we move along here you can continue to see that we've got the Ceratosaurus up there one of my favorites the difference between the Parasaurolophus and Corythosaurus and again it's just amazing it is so overloaded with awesomeness in this book again an absolute must have and as you can see from the front of the style guide it shows off the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park the Lost World Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park 3 and I believe they are currently working on the Jurassic World version of this book potentially as well and you can see again we even have the list of dinosaurs in order of screen appearance which is so cool and just so I don't leave out any information here are all of the people that took part in creating this book again here on the back so everybody that was involved in making this can clearly get credit for it but again you can download this completely free but you can also purchase the printed copy, which is super awesome and very, again, handy for someone like me. We also have the Dinosaurs of the World book. Again, you can see that this was created by Dino Mike Mac, and you can see the Biosyn logo and everything here. And as you move into this one, I actually have not had the pleasure of really checking much of this out previously. You can see we've got a table of contents. We've also got some really nice images from the 
prologue of Jurassic World Dominion right there. And then as you move through, you get the different species of dinosaurs that have appeared in the films, as well as information about those dinosaurs. You can see a silhouette of each of the dinosaurs. You can see a comparison with the human being. And also, again, the size difference between the Allosaurus from Fallen Kingdom and the Allosaurus that we see in Dominion. And then you can also, again, see as we run through here, we've got pretty much every, not even pretty much, we've got every species of dinosaur that has made an appearance in the Jurassic franchise, giving us all sorts of information. Again, images, size comparisons, all of that stuff throughout the entire book, which again, of course, is the dinosaurs of the world. So it shows you all the different dinosaurs that are in the franchise. And then once we come back here, you can see we have the Jurassic Park extension as we move into other dinosaurs that maybe we haven't seen really much of at the very least and including some that we definitely have not seen like the Acrocanthosaurus and uh, again this continues through the entire book with all sorts of really cool species of dinosaur definitely a lot of really really neat stuff in here even Edmontosaurus is in here, Diplodocus, Dracorex all kinds of different species and again very nice very high quality beautiful printed copy of this book and you can even see what the jp3 style spinosaurus or i should just generally say the jurassic style spinosaurus looks like compared to a more modern interpretation of a spinosaurus again another incredible book absolutely amazing stuff here created by dino mike mac that i really recommend anybody interested in picking up and now i'm very intrigued to see what is in here so let's pop this open so we absolutely have some posters and first of all, know your dinosaurs. I need to get a better angle, I think, of this. So let me set this down for just a minute and show off our dinosaur poster, which you can see shows off every dinosaur. Well, not even every dinosaur, every species, because we've also got the Mosasaurus and we have Dimetrodon and stuff in here. But every species that has made an appearance in the films, even to the point of showing off what the male and female in the Pseudoceratops look like in comparison to each other. That is awesome. Definitely the type of art I really want to get framed, especially in a collection like this. It would go great with this collection. And then we have an incredible poster here created by Dino Mike Mac. If I could just get this positioned nicely. There we go. We can see it now. An incredible poster showing off all the different dinosaurs from Dominion. That is so cool. And that might be the best and most highest quality image I've seen of the Morose so far. Really giving me a good idea of what the Morose looks like. So this also would be very helpful when it comes to, you know, when I'm painting dinosaurs. But this is also phenomenal. Dino Mike Mac really going above and beyond nowadays to give us incredible products. So again, all of this stuff is available currently from Dino Mike Mac. You can go ahead and purchase each and every one of these printed and absolutely incredible books and posters from Dino Mike Mac. I will include a link in the description to where you can do that on Dino Mike Mac's Google form. Basically what I'll do is I'll include a link to where you can head over to his form that you can fill out and place your order and then he'll send you a link via email to pay and once you've paid he'll print them and ship them out usually within two to three weeks he'll have them shipped out to you once everything is fully finished because of course it's kind of like a made on demand type thing so amazing stuff here from dino mike mac i highly recommend anybody interested go ahead grab yourself some of these amazing books and posters so make sure you check the links in the description go ahead and place an order with dino mike mac to get some of this awesomeness in your collection and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.